New updates within Busy Busy include the ability to create progress budgets for each project. Now you can see and understand the progress you're making on a project in relation to your labor costs. Import new subprojects to existing projects, a huge time saver for office admins, and an improved break report that's going to give you even more information and decrease your liability. Along with a few smaller updates that I'll mention first before getting into the bigger features. Looking at our daily sign-off cards on the dashboard. Previous to this release, these cards displayed a running total of any flagged sign-off issues for the date range, and the number included both resolved and unresolved issues. Many office admins use these dashboard cards as an alert that there are issues that need to be tended to, and they told us that it would be nice to have the option to only show the unresolved issue count, making it easier for them to see when new issues popped up. So that's what we did. To adjust the settings of the daily sign-off dashboard card, go to the dashboard settings, find daily sign-off card, and now you can turn the toggle on or off to hide the resolved issues for each question. By choosing to hide processed issues, the daily sign-off card will now show zeros unless there are unresolved issues that need your attention. Once those sign-in issues have been resolved, the dashboard card will return to zero. You have the ability to customize your experience within your Busy Busy user account on the web, including arranging the order of your navigation sidebar, dashboard card arrangements, and choosing your report row height, among other things. Previous to this update, your personal customizations were tied to the individual computer you were using. Now with this latest update, your personal Busy Busy customizations are linked to your username. Your customizations will populate no matter which computer you log into. So the customizations you make to your account on your office computer will show up when you log into your Busy Busy account from your home computer, or anywhere for that matter. Office admins might want to know the last day of work for an employee, or what an employee's first day of work with the company was. Busy Busy gives you an easy way to access this information by going to Employees, clicking on the employee you're wondering about, and then clicking on View System Data. Here you can see when their Busy Busy account was created, or the last date that their account was updated, the first day that they had a time entry, and the most recent or the last day that they had a time entry. Just some all-around helpful data that Office admins might find useful. Finding photos within Busy Busy just got easier with our updated photo date picker. You can now choose to quickly view your photos by pay period, month, week, day, or by entering a custom date range. So if I want to see all the photos taken this last week on a specific project, it's very fast and easy to do so. Moving on to a few of our bigger release features. If your company is constantly working with and adding subprojects to projects, we have something that's going to make your life easier. Using our project import feature, you can now quickly create and attach new subprojects to pre-existing projects without the need to manually add them. For example, at some point, many of our users decide they want to add additional subprojects to each of their projects after their projects have already been created but they don't want to spend the time manually adding a couple of subprojects to every single project, sometimes hundreds or thousands of projects. This is where our new import tool can save you some major time. There are different ways you can add new subprojects to pre-existing projects, including using the provided sample file, in addition to exporting and re-importing project information. Learn how to use our new import tool by visiting our help center and typing how to import new subprojects into existing projects in our search bar to access our in-depth articles that include step-by-step how-to videos. Or you can reach out to one of my amazing customer support friends who will help walk you through it. We have always shown break, start, and end times on our individual time entries, but now we have expanded our break hour report to not only show the total length of the break, but the coinciding start and end times for each break as well. But wait, there's more. We have also added the option to include break start and end times within the expanded time card report. You have the option to just show break totals 
or just list the break times or display both the total break time and the start and end times. If you choose to export or print your expanded time cards, the break start and end times will also be included in that report, if you choose for it to be. Having break start and end times appear on your expanded time card report in addition to being able to print and export these signed time card reports will further reduce your liability by increasing compliance with state labor laws. As the economy continues to tighten, the construction industry not only needs to be aware of labor costs, but they need to be able to track and understand the progress that's being accomplished on individual projects. Busy Busy's progress tracking is now directly incorporated into budgets, so you can easily see the overall progress being made on a job site, as well as the work being accomplished on individual cost codes. Here's how it works. With progress tracking, you assign a unit of measurement to a cost code. This can be anything you want, cubic yards, square feet, dump truck loads, or by the sheet, whatever you want to use to measure that cost code. Create a budget for a project and add individual cost codes to that project's budget using your computer or on your mobile phone. Now you can set a quantity budget for each cost code as well as assign a progress value. For example, my guys need to hang 850 square feet of drywall and this cost code is worth $10,000 of my overall project's bid. I'm budgeting 150 hours of labor and $6,000 in labor costs for my hanging drywall cost code. When I complete the budget for each cost code of my project, I now not only have a budget for each cost code of the project, but I also have a total overall budget for my project that shows my total hours, total labor costs, and now with progress tracking, I have an overall progress value. The total progress value is the total amount of money you expect to be paid for this project, and it's determined by adding up the progress value you assigned to each of your individual cost codes for this project's budget. Here's how progress tracking works within your budget to show you in real time the work that's being accomplished and how close your project is to being finished. At the end of a workday, an employee or a supervisor enters the work they've accomplished by going to their dashboard, tapping on progress, and entering the progress made for the cost codes they worked on. Here's how my budget looks after my guys have spent a week working on this project. By looking at my progress, I can see that the overall project is halfway done which is good because I'm just over halfway through my labor budget, which means I'm right where I want to be. When I drill into my budget, I can see that all the sheetrock has been hung and it looks like my guys are halfway through with the drywall taping. I can also click on a cost code and see the actuals. So I can see which guys have time tracked to this cost code for the project, as well as see the progress entries. As you can see, being able to track progress on a job site really clarifies your labor budgets as well as your project timelines. You can choose to include or not include progress, labor hours, and labor cost in your budget by going to settings, clicking on budgets, and then turning on or off the different budget categories depending on how you want your budget to work for you. You can also view your project's progress and budgets in several different places within Busy Busy. The dashboard card will show you your budgets and the progress made on your top four most active budgets. And you can also see a project's budget by going to projects, clicking on a project, and finding the budget section within that project's dashboard. Budgets with progress tracking is very mobile friendly. Create a new budget for a project, include cost codes in that budget, and set progress values for that budget right from your phone as well as access and view those budgets anytime and anywhere, so you can understand what's happening with the project while you're out at that project, instead of waiting to get back to the office. Tracking your progress and your labor costs allow you to see if you're winning or losing on a job site. This gives you time to react if there's an issue before it's too late and you start missing deadlines and losing real money. If you don't have progress tracking already and you're interested in learning more so you can take your budgeting and reporting to the next level, reach out to us. We'll include a link at the end of the video where you can schedule a time to talk to us about progress tracking.
Thank you for joining us today and learning more about all the new and exciting things Busy Busy has to offer. I'll be back soon to show you even more amazing stuff that our developers are working on at this very minute. But until then, you know what to do. Stay busy.